Fabulous Frogs by Martin Jenkins, illustrated by Tim Hopgood. Do you know that there are more than 5,000 kinds of frogs? Each one is different, but they have some things in common. All frogs have short bodies, big back legs, smaller front legs, and no tail. Almost all of them can jump, but some can only manage short hops. They eat small animals like snails, slugs, worms, and beetles, and flies. Frogs do some of their breathing through their skin, and they usually live in damp places. Most kinds are found in warm parts of the world where it rains a lot. The ones that live where the winter is cold, like much of North America and Europe, hibernate and come out in spring to breed. Almost all frogs lay eggs, usually in ponds or streams, that hatch into tadpoles with tails and no legs. They don't look anything like their parents. As a tadpole grows older, its tail begins to shrink and it starts to sprout back and front legs. Eventually the tail disappears and the tadpole becomes a tiny frog. Fabulous Frogs by Martin Jenkins, illustrated by Tim Hopgood. This frog is huge for a frog. It's a Goliath frog and it lives in Western Africa. It's the biggest frog in the world. Sometimes it eats other frogs. These frogs are tiny. This is the smallest kind of frog in the world or at least the smallest that anybody knows about, it lives in Papua New Guinea. And this one has a very strange nose. It's called Darwin's frog and it lives in South America. No one really knows why it has a pointy nose. This frog can, oops, <laughs> jump really far, really quick. It's a striped rocket frog from Australia. It can jump 16 feet five meters in one go. Very handy for escaping from enemies in a hurry. chirp. And these ones make an awful lot of noise. Frogs call to let other frogs know that they are there. These are all male frogs. Female frogs are generally much quieter. The big one in the middle is a bullfrog. This one is called a flying frog, although it can't really fly. It lives in the trees and forests in Southeast Asia. It spreads out the skin between its toes to help it float in the air when it jumps from tree to tree. And this one is called a hairy frog, although it doesn't really have any real hair. The hairy frog lives in Western Africa. The things that look like hairs are little strips of skin. They probably help the frog breathe when it's underwater. I think these frogs are all very beautiful. I couldn't tell you which one is the most beautiful, but I can tell you that each one could kill a horse, though only if the horse was silly enough to try and eat it. A horse wouldn't eat a frog on purpose, but plenty of other animals might. South African poison arrow frogs have deadly poison in their skin to help protect them. Their bright colors are a way of saying, keep away. These frogs make a nest of foam for their eggs. They're African gray tree frogs. Their nests hang in branches over ponds or streams. When the eggs in the nest hatch, the tadpoles wriggle out and drop into the water below. And the one with the very strange nose looks after its babies in its throat. The male Darwin frog snaps up the eggs just before they hatch and keeps the tadpoles in a special pouch in his throat. You'd think he would swallow them all the way down by accident, but he never seems to. This frog never leaves the water. It's an African clawed frog. It spends its whole life living in a stream or pond. Not many frogs do that. And this frog can live buried in the ground for years and years, waiting for the rain. 
It's an Australian water holding frog and it lives in the desert. It makes a little room for itself where it stays cool and damp. When it rains and the ground gets wet, the frog digs itself out. All these frogs are wonderful, but my favorite frog of all is the medium sized greeny brown one that sits on a lily pad in my backyard pond. Martin Jenkins and Tim Hopgood wanted to get as many frogs as possible into this book, so here are a few more just for fun. The Desert Rain Frog, the Vietnamese Mossy Frog, the Argentine Horned Frog, the Malagasy Rainbow Frog, the Painted Reed Frog, the White Belly Reed Frog, the Splendid Leaf Frog, the Black Rain Frog. Whew, look at all of them. It says here, Martin Jenkins says the best place to find out about frogs is amphibiaweb.org. You can also find a lot of useful information at iucnredlist.org and archive.org and on Wikipedia. Wow, I learned so much about frogs. If you want your own copy of this book, just follow the link in the description below this video. Do you ever see frogs where you live? If so, you should record them in your nature journal. I've included a link to a free printable nature journal just in the description below this video. Ask your parents to help you print it out. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please make sure that if you want to hear more that you hit the subscribe button so that you can find the other videos in the series. Have a great day and get outside.